a beautiful morning on Saturday for hopefully what will be a beautiful transformation. So Rick cleaned this off the other day. You can see we've got some racks and things in here. We're gonna go to the gun range this morning and then whenever I get back, I hope to turn this by the end of the day into a pressure washing trailer. So we've got the lights and everything to wire on there. I might have the guys help me with that uh, like Monday or something. But I bought another pressure washer last night and what we're thinking is We'll put a 300 gallon tank in the front here. So this was my first ever maintenance trailer that I pulled behind a lawnmower. So we're hoping to put a tank in this front portion over, over the axle up to about here. And then we'll have the 4,400 PSI pressure washer and then the 3,200 PSI pressure washer that I bought last night. And then we hope to put maybe some racks uh, for hoses and things on the front and the sides. So we'll see how that goes. That's today's project. Uh, we don't have any yards or anything today. We take off on Saturdays for the most part. So we'll see how it goes. Challenge number one, getting around five foot of trailer through two foot of space. So I got the trailer out from the backyard or the side yard over there. So now I'm going to try to clean it out some, pump up the tires the rest of the way, and we'll see how it does. Hook it up to the truck, pull it to the back, and load the tank on. So I just hooked up the truck to this little trailer, and look at how low the trailer is so apparently when we got the sod i don't know if that squished some of the air, that air out of the tires but somehow our tires have gotten super low so we'll have to get those pumped up if not today then monday for sure because they're about half full i just checked them and they've got like 30 or 40 psi so it's not good at all but got the trailer hooked up it takes the smallest little coupler so maybe we can swap that out where it matches all the other trailers but gonna try to clean it up and see if we can't get it in working order. We've gotta get it cleaned up before we can go get a tag for it and then we can start using it as a pressure washing trailer. So I'm about to go check and see if that tank will fit it and if it will, then that'll be uh, where we could put the tank up front and maybe fill it like half full just because of how much water and weight in the water it would have. But if we can't, then maybe we can load the tank into the back of the truck or something whenever we're doing pressure washing. So I got the tank loaded on the trailer back here and I put on these little reflectors on the bottom and I loaded in the pressure washers and strapped them to this tank. So we can't fill that tank up all the way, but we could fill it up about a quarter of the way uh, full just due to the weight because it'll be like 2,500 pounds of water because uh, it's a 300 gallon tank. So we still got all of our junk in the back that we got to clear out, but also put the reflectors onto this trailer too because whenever the lights go out, we can't see uh, nobody can really see us at night at all and so we've got our running lights and everything hooked up there we've got flashers that we put on the side so that should be all rigged up we've got some more tools and things that I got to do something with on the back there but other than that we should be all rigged up uh, so pressure washer and trailer build is done like design wise other than I need to put on some kind of spools in the front here for um, I need to put on nozzles uh, wands um, and hoses and then we also need a tag on the back and we need new wheels so that's about it that wraps up the trailer build and then on to the next thing so during the night I took a landscape uh, irrigation course so it was a few hours long and it was done by uh, hunter irrigation so if you go to the park manufacturers, then you can normally get the training that you need for it. So 
I've taken that training. Hopefully in the next few weeks I can get certified. Um, so I don't know. I think I'll have to attend some in-person classes in order to get certified. That's something that we'd like to start offering next year is in our area. There's just really, really good money in it. Um, and so in order to do that, we'll have to uh, kind of stock up on some of those parts and stuff like that. But that's something that we're kind of looking forward into the future to do. Um, so that's kind of in the works, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. We're also trying to get our pressure washing rig back there that you can see we're trying to get it set up for the winter so during the winter we really focus on pressure washing services and so we do a lot of uh, like driveway cleanings is mostly what we do that's kind of what we focus on and so those are normally good winter services because during the winter all the leaves are falling there's always acorn smashed onto the driveways so it's always just real nasty but it makes a good winter service it's cold because you're wet and cold all the time but it's part of it so makes money during the winter and that's kind of what we offer we haven't done christmas lights um i was talking to someone who works with guys who do them and he said he's never heard of anybody who did who was glad that they did them so i don't think we'll really get into that but we do a lot of pressure washing during the winter and different services like that that we can offer in cold weather other than mowing so we're also trying to focus on selling overseeding and aerating where the grass will be growing during the winter so for those customers and the customers who want us just to continue blowing leaves and things during winter then we can keep making money that way but that's kind of how our plan to stay busy during the winter so let me know if y'all have a different plan or what seems to work well for you So today's payday so I normally write the guys checks and kind of figure them uh, each so we pay on the 15th and the 28th so I figure those uh, on the night of the 15th and the 28th and then like in this case it's Saturday so then they'll get on Monday morning we just give them to them in person to make it quicker um, where they can get them right away instead of having to wait for them to come through the mail and we pay for postage and all that it just makes makes them a little happier because they can get it that much quicker mm -hmm. 